Hi guys, so TJ here. I'm literally in the hotel about to get some rest because tomorrow is all about breakthrough with property, which is my flagship property training event where I teach people how to start a property business without having lots and lots of cash. So look, I hope to catch you at one stage soon, but I wanted to talk to you very briefly before I jump into bed, in fact, about something that's been bugging me for quite some time. Guess what it is? Money. I want to teach you how to double up. Now, some of you might go to the casino, some of you might be betting people, in fact, some of you might have just seen it on TV. Now, when you go to the casino, you get the chance to double up. You get the chance to put down some money and then put some money on top and then you win pretty much twice over. But I want to give you the same analogy and how you can do exactly the same thing in property. That I'll give you an understanding of what I do. So I'm in a service accommodation business, which means I have a service accommodation portfolio, which means I provide short-term accommodation for four different types of people, contractors, corporates, groups, and leisure. So as I'm focusing on growing that business, so you could be in the rent to rent game, you could be in the flip game, you could be in the HMO game, you could be in the service accommodation game. Your aim is to grow that business. So start from one property to two properties, to three properties, to four properties, take it as far as you want. But if you're actively building that business, then why not add one magic little trick to what you're currently doing, which is called deal packaging. Now, now, now follow me on this. Deal packaging is finding a deal, finding someone else who wants that deal and putting them together and getting a fee for it. So I fell into deal packaging by mistake. Some of you might know my story. In essence, I had a number of agents calling me and saying, hey, I remember you called me last year asking about that subletting thing or that Airbnb thing. Hey, it's been a year. We now understand exactly what you're trying to do. We've now got some properties and some landlords who are on board. Would you like those properties? And I'm like, hey, I don't want them anymore because I'm now focusing on this strategy on, I'm now focusing on this specific location. And one agent said to me, do you know what? Do you by any chance know of anyone that might be interested in taking on this property? And that's when the idea came to me like, oh my God, there are people out there who want these deals and they can't find the deals. So my point is this, how to double up. If you are currently running a service accommodation business or a rent to rent business or whatever type of business that you're running and you're actively growing your business, you will come across excess leads. You will come across deals that don't specifically work for you or your portfolio. And guess what you do? You sell those deals on. So when I'm talking about doubling up, I'm talking about you're making money from your core strategy and then guess what? You get another opportunity because you're running your current business to have an additional income. That's doubling up. That's what you need to be doing. Someone taught me the term some time ago. They called it symbiotic flows of income because what you're doing effectively is you're not starting a brand new business. You're not going to acquire a random other skill. You're running your business which happens to be a property business. And guess what happens? As you're running your business, you come across certain landlords, agents, and developers who give you deals that might not necessarily work for you in terms of maybe you intend to make £500 a month per deal and this one's only going to make £300 a month. Maybe your benchmark level is £1,000 a deal and this one only makes £750 per month. It's entirely up to you. Or maybe it's in a completely different location. Once you learn how to package up these deals, ethically, of course, and compliant, once you learn how to put that together, then why are you not generating an additional income? It's a no-brainer. Look, I'll catch you guys soon. Just have a think on that and look for ways that you can generate an additional income from what you are currently doing. I'll catch you soon, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.